Hi, my name is Phil Bradley and welcome back to another video that's supporting my book Social Media for Creative Libraries. In this video tutorial I'm going to be looking at creating promotional material using a site called BigHugeLabs.com. It's a really nice, very helpful, useful site that allows you to create a really wide variety of different materials uh, completely free in a matter of seconds. So in this video what I'll be doing is showing you just two or three different approaches that you can use. This is the site itself. As you can see the URL at the top there BigHugeLabs.com and this gives you an indication of the variety of different resources that are available to you. Magazine covers, motivational posters, movie posters, and so on. Um, I'll start by showing you how you can create a trading card. So if we click on the link, the first thing that we want to do is to choose the file or the image that we want for our trading card. So have your image available to you on your hard drive and then choose file. I'm going to be choosing one of my dog, Rusty. So I'll click on that, open that file up. It doesn't actually load anything on the screen at this point, you just have to take it on trust. At this point, you can then type in the title that you want to give the card. You can then decide on uh, title, uh, subtitle, you can have a description, so I'll do a very simple one. Of course what you could do here is you could almost make a top trumps kind of game. So if you were doing something for authors, for example, um, you could do something like um, how many books they've had printed. Um, what their Dewey number would be if there was a, a Dewey number that was appropriate and so on. We can then choose the style that we want. <clears throat> you can choose icons. So there are a variety of these available so I'll just choose number one. <clears throat> I can choose where to crop my picture. So I'll start off with it in the center. I'll then create the card and it takes a few moments to create and there we go so we've got the picture in the middle we've got the title the subtitle uh, we've then got the bit of a description at the bottom what I could then do is simply uh, right mouse click copy or save image and then download the image that I need um, or click on the download option if I'm unhappy with what I've got I can always click on edit and go back. So that's the first of the different tools that I wanted to show you. Let's move on and look at uh, the motivator posters. This is the kind of thing that you can put up in your library or your information center. Again really quick and easy to create. Once more we choose our file so I'll go for a library photograph that I've got. We then give it a title. We can then add in the motivational text that we want. Um, decide if we want landscape portrait, if we want a border um, or a fancy border around it. We can choose the colours that we've got, but I'm happy with the default, so I'll click on create. And there we go, we've got this really nice little motivational poster, which once again can be downloaded, printed out. If you wanted to add a little bit of spice to the thing, you could then laminate it, for example and put them wherever you want or obviously you can save it as a GIF and use it on your website or in a blog for example. So if we go back to Big Huge Labs, 
try out magazine cover and I'll again choose a file I'll be egotistical and choose me uh, we can then choose whatever colors it is that we want um, I'll go for autumn which is quite attractive I can change the font if I wish to I can give the magazine its own title I've already got I tried that out earlier so social media today everything you want to know I can put a publication date on and we can bold and shadow for example uh, we can change the color if we wish to using the little color wheel that we've got there so let's go for bright yellow there adding a price if you want to do that we can then now start to create whatever it is that we want to say for our magazine uh, an interview with me let's go down to um, a little bit further down the cover change the color of this one let's go for a nice blue <coughs> fill in as many of these as we wish to obviously you can always go back and re-edit let's go to create and there we've got our cover we can't really see the interview bit there so if I go back to edit we pop back in there and we can change this color so have it as a nice bright red create it again and there we go that pops out a little bit better and there's our magazine cover you'll notice you can add it to a cart uh, that means that you can then choose to have it printed and shipped to you by big huge labs um, the resource itself is completely free but that's one of the ways in which they make money uh, they also make money if you click on their adverts as well so that's always a, a nice thing to do because they've given you the resource completely free of charge let's try a movie poster click on movie poster <clears throat> once again I think you're getting the hang of this now choose the image that we want then we choose if we want the style to be uh, light or we could choose dark we can choose different colors we could have neutral but let's go back to fade to white happy with black through to white there font happy with that and with it being dark movie title We can then add in credits. We can choose the production credits that we wish. choose a rating obviously we can choose the colors that we've got but let's click to create and see what we've got but that's okay but again we're not seeing um, the 
text that we want against this fairly dark background. So we can go back in to edit and we can then play around with the colors and things that we have. And that looks a little bit better there. And I probably would want to change those while I'm at it as well. But again, that gives you uh, an indication of what you could do with a film. This is the thing that if you had a promotion or an event that was taking place in your library, you could always create the idea of it being a film, for example. Or if you wanted to do something to promote a book or a series of books, then again, what would the film of the book look like might be quite fun to do something like that you can also do calendars so if we click on the calendar choose our file choose our picture let's start this for February of this year start the week on the Monday click on create and we've now our calendar quickly and easily produced. We print that off, laminate it, or create a collection of the images throughout the year, and maybe sell that as a product within the library, or have them freely available for people to take for the coming month to encourage people to come back and um, renew their books or visit the library again. So that's just a few of the things that are available to you. Uh, there are plenty of others. Uh, Mosaic Maker can be quite fun. Uh, a badge maker, you could create a press badge or a library assistant badge if you want to work with children. Uh, you could always create author um, badges. So you could have a different author for every month of the year or every week of the year and people could come and collect the badges for the course of the year. Um, you can make CD covers, billboards and so on. So it's a really nice, very simple, straightforward tool, completely free of charge and it does allow you to make really good, very professional looking promotional material in next to no time and for no cost. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. Do give it a go and see what you can create. Until next time, bye-bye.